We are doing the calibration of the load cells. There are two load cells, the vertical and the horizontal of the direct shear machine. And in order to do the calibration, we need a reference calibration, which is an interface gold standard calibration type or grade load cell that has a digital readout box where we can see the load uh, reading there. We are doing a double calibration of the two, the vertical and the horizontal. Um, we mounted them with some extension rods. We removed the water bath. And uh, what we are going to do is we're going to apply the vertical load and we're going to read both the vertical and horizontal against the calibration uh, reference. So we are going to be using the software, the shear software. Um, I'm going to open the shear software. And uh, in the shear software, I'm going to open a file, whatever file there. I go to calibrate vertical load. I will open the vertical load, calibrate horizontal load. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero everything here and there. So I'm going to re zero everything. And so I'm starting from scratch. Calibrate. So we're back to zero here. The same thing again. All zeros. And uh, because my reference calibration cell is in pounds, so I am going to change my force in pounds, but you can use anything you want. And then I am going to look at my system. So this is right now is showing the readings, but I am going to so I can check my vertical and horizontal against the old calibration. So I'm going to zero my vertical and my horizontal. This is just for convenience. So 32805. I'm putting my offset right now into the calibration summary. So I do apply. Now everything looks zero now. I go into my control. I can only control the vertical. I, I won't be able to control the horizontal in the configuration that I have now. So now, not knowing where we are, we are, we're gonna look at the initial reading is about 32 uh, for both the vertical and the horizontal. So I'm gonna start with a value of 33,000, which correspond to a small load about seven pound. That is, um, and then I do go. So what I'm going to do when I do go, the load frame of the direct shear is going to apply a vertical load and I'm going to read it in my readout box. What I did before, and I'd like to mention that, I moved the vertical frame all the way up so I can apply my load. So I'm going to do go, so you can see that the frame is going to be moving down to apply my small load and I'm going to have to read it here when the contact is made. Make sure when you do that that everything is tight and nice and so now the load is being applied and I'm going to read it right now so I read about 8.5 it's fluctuating a little bit, it's trying to maintain the load. So I'm gonna wait. And my reading is about 7, about 7.6. Now it's quiet. I can see it's quiet. Is actually 7. Point. Does fluctuate a little bit. 7.642. So I come back in here and I type in 
and I do read. So we take this reading and put it there. And same thing here, 7.642, and I do read. So I got my first point. I will continue by increasing my target counts by 2,000 counts. So my next one will be 35, then 37, then 39, then 41, and so on and so forth, so I can cover the range of my two load cells. And then at the end, I will have a complete table. I will click on calibrate for both of them, and I got my calibration factor. Then I'll hit save, and it will automatically save it. And that will be the end of my calibration for my direct shear.